In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to create mixed media in under two minutes. So if you guys haven't heard of what mixed media is, it is an amazing technique and skill some editors use to create this amazing look you see on the screen right now. Basically, we're using a printer, paper, and some crayons to create the look going frame by frame, which can take a very long time. Here's a creator named Dumb Days showing himself doing mixed media using this method. Sometimes this method can take you up to an hour just for a four second clip. So in this video, I'll be going over the way how I do mixed media all in After Effects using this new amazing plugin called MXM. MXM is a plugin created by Fred Pell and it has changed the way people do mixed media forever now. It's super easy and efficient for all of us editors. The plugin is not free unfortunately, but I do recommend purchasing this if you do want more commissions. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, leave a like for more tutorials, let's get to work before we even get to the editing part what you want to do once you purchase the mxm you just want to click this and drag it into your zxp installer and then it'll install the mxm to your after effects which the mxm right now currently only runs on the newest version of after effects which is 2024 whatever the, the most recent after effects is that's the only one it's working on currently so if you are under that i'm sorry it won't work once you install it restart your after effects and what you want to do is go into window extensions and it'll be right there i have mine right here i have my clips lined up here these clips are from the molly santana chain swinging video shot by city island i just took four clips from that video that i liked that were just raw and yeah i'm gonna add my little touch to it so highlight all your clips right click pre-compose i'm gonna name this mix media move all attributes into the new composition make sure the adjust composition is checked hit ok and now you have your composition after you click your mixed media hit fetch compositions you want to hit the mixed media comp and hit launch after it launches, it'll start loading and you'll get your results here. What you want to do is go back to the MXM tab. And now you have these options where you can mess around with the coloring, the scattering, the flickers, all the little effects that goes on the video. If we scroll here, we'll see there's different colors. So I can choose a different color scheme. As you see, the color will change. Let's go with this vibe. Turn on the push rise. I like to use a FPS that looks the best in my opinion. We can change the scan with however much we want. You can change the scatter, the flicker, the shake and the damage. If we go to source, now there's the intensity where you can choose how much of the grain and you know, the half tone you want on this. There's the cutouts, the paint. So cuts are the boxes that you see around your clip. Once you deactivate it, you won't see them no more. You can also mess with the color and gamma settings here. Me personally, I like it the way it is. Don't hit confirm though, cause you never know if you're going to be done. Now what you can do is go into your composition and start adding cool effects and start doing cool things to make it look even better. So this is what the mixed media looks like without the effects I'm going to add. And now I'm going to show you what they look like after I'm done doing what I got to do. So for right now, I'm going to roto brush some of these clips, add some overlays and yeah, I'll get back to you when I'm finished. So now that I'm finished with all the effects and stuff I added on the raw clips, here's what it looks like. You know, I'm playing it right now. Bunch of different things. Now, make sure you save it. We're going to go back to the mixed media and you'll see it has changed. I'm going to pre-render it and show you guys the results. Here's the final results. looks super clean looks great i love the way it came out there's so many ways and different like effect styles that you can do to make this look even better but this you know is for the sake of the tutorial the little checkerboard the little scribbles the masks out those make this look 10 times better but yeah this is the mxm plugin that you can get by fred pell it is on sale right now and i do recommend you getting it now before it goes up in price because this effect is way too advanced so yeah if you guys want to see future videos and future tutorials make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button leave a like on this video and comment what you want to see next i'll see you in the next video peace out